Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK, still a bit under the weather, but hey, I'm soldiering on regardless. For those of you who are passing through for the first time, welcome to my channel. It tends to be an informative channel. I tend to collect information from different sources and try to make some kind of sense out of it. And then I share what I think and give my opinion on it. And you can make comments as you see fit. For those of you who have been um, following me and subscribing, thank you for your support. Now, today I wanted to talk about the Trump's memorandum uh, of the Secretary of State. It's called the Memorandum on the Presidential Determination on Major Drug Transit or Major Illicit Drug Producing Countries for the Fiscal Year 2020. Um, what it appears like is that these listed 23 countries, which I am going to tell you what they are. And of course, our little Jamaica is among them, among all the coke, all the coca. And then they throw in Jamaica. I don't know whether it's just to make it look good or whether they're trying to discredit Jamaica. But when you compare Jamaica to all of these other countries, um, it doesn't fit in well. It doesn't even fit into place. And I doubt very much if this memorandum is going to be successful in discrediting Jamaica. Everybody knows that Jamaica is famous for the weed, but even then it's not it doesn't produce the most weed in the world, the cannabis. The way they go on is like Jamaica is the world of cannabis. But would you believe that USA and the UK produce and export the most amount of cannabis in the world. I think England is 44.8%. So, you know, they're going around stopping people from smoking weed and yet they're exporting it and they're making millions from it and they have the nerve to say, oh, if they catch you with a little draw, they're going to criminalise you. I mean, they're saying it's uh, they're, they're exporting it and they are producing it for um, for medicinal purposes and for scientific purposes. They found this place in Norfolk, and apparently they've got acres of land where they're growing um, the, the the cannabis in the UK. So I don't see. And then what's what's weird is that. Trump has just come out with this new memorandum, and yet they have legalized um, cannabis in so many states. They're producing it, and they're the one at the highest producers and exporters. So how can you um, put names on a list and not include yourself and the UK? How do you do that? I don't understand how that makes any kind of sense. The only thing I hope is that people won't be put off by it. They'll understand and they'll see through all the sham and um, it's not going to make a difference. I think it's because um, America, not America, Jamaica has such a high tourist rate. I think over 202,000 this year. And it, it went up, it's increasing. And I just think they're trying to discredit Jamaica. That's what. That's my personal view. Because I can't see what other reason why Jamaica is there. Jamaica ranks seventh, I think, in cannabis producing. And I couldn't find where it ranked with um, exporting. I couldn't find where it ranked there. There were so many before it. So what am I going to tell you? I'm going to read out just the part of the memorandum that is applicable. And this is the memorandum for the Secretary of State, Presidential Determination on Major Drug Transit or Major Illicit Drug Producing Countries for the Fiscal Year 2020. By the authority vested in me as President by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, including Section 706 in brackets 1 of the Foreign Relations Authorization Act, Fiscal Year 2003, in brackets, public law 107 to 228, in bra close brackets, open brackets, FRAA, close brackets. I hereby identify the following countries as major drug transit or major illicit drug producing countries. Afghanistan, the Bahamas, Belize, Bolivia, 
Burma, Colombia, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, India, Jamaica, Laos, Mexico, Nicaragua, Pakistan, Panama, Peru and Venezuela. Now when I was doing my little bit of research, Bahamas didn't feature in those countries as being the top. Uh, Belize, I can't remember if Belize, Burma definitely wasn't there. Um, Haiti wasn't ranked high in there either. Um, Nicaragua wasn't ranked high. So I don't know where they get the um, where they get their statistics from. Um, apparently, the reasons the reason countries are placed on the list is the combination of geographic, commercial, and economic factors that allow drugs to transit or be produced, even if government has engaged in robust and diligent narcotics control measures. Location, location, location. So you can't even help where the island or the country is positioned. What they're saying is, what this is saying is, is that wherever it's positioned, if it's positioned in a place that uh, allows transit, you're on this list. Is that fair? Despite the efforts that the government of these countries is trying to do to stop the um, illicit drug trafficking. Um, he also says, I've jumped out quite a bit. I'm not going to read the whole thing. My administration has devoted unprecedented resources to combating the scourge of illicit drugs in the United States. So if that's the case, why is there so much? Why are they producing so much cannabis if they're trying to stop it from coming in? That, you know, it's so contradictory and it's so ironic that they can make it, but anybody else, they can make it, they can make the money from it, but anybody else who tries to do the same thing is labelled a criminal. I mean, there shouldn't be one rule for one and another rule for another. You're saying that you're using your bit for medicinal, medicinal purposes. And yet other people who may be taking it for the same, but because it's not authorised by a GP or something, they're committing a crime. Um, yeah, and they're talking about they're trying. He's trying to confront the illicit fentanyl production. I heard that China produces fentanyl, but I'm not sure. But um, he lists out a lot about the countries and what he's going to do and what he's going to do about the governments who are not doing enough. I mean, Jamaica, thank God, isn't in that part of it. But because they're mentioned, it is a problem. Um, so, what have I got here? So, my 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 thought thought is is because Jamaica is very popular, and I think he's trying to discredit it because, like I said, two hundred and two thousand visitors in January, which represents a nine percent increase over the same period in two thousand eighteen. Um, I was listening to Politrix, um, he, he's a um, Jamaican vlogger, and he was saying that he was he was kind of talking about this um, topic as well, and he went into quite some depth. Um, so he's the inspiration behind this video, to be honest. Um, so anyway, uh, the country, the criteria to be on the drug producing list, which is what I got from him, um, a country has to produce 1,000 hectares or more of illicit, illicit opium a year, in a year. Um, 1,000 hectares of coca. Did you know? I, I didn't even know this. Did you know that people are sniffing coca, cocoa instead of cocaine now? And apparently it's a big drug thing. I never knew that. I mean, you live and learn every day. Who would have thought coca that you can get from the shop? I wonder if it's the same thing, but they're saying it's chocolate. So it must be the same kind of thing that you can sniff it and get high on it, apparently. I shouldn't be giving anybody any ideas, but... Anyway, um, coca, 1,000 hectares of coca. Um, that's a, that's, these are the criteria. Cannabis, 5,000 hectares or more to end up on the list. So um, Jamaica, 
doesn't produce opium and doesn't produce coca. So they're not on the list for those kind of drugs. If they're on the list, it's to do with um, producing cannabis and they're where they rank seventh. I'm not quite sure. And it's also probably because that they happen to be located in a part of the world where they can transit from Jamaica and all those little islands to the to the Americas. So that's why they're on the list, not because they're doing anything crazy. Um, I tried to work out what a hectare is because I've got no idea. It said one ton per hectare to tons per acre equals 0 0.404770 tons per hectare to tons per acre equals 28.328, whatever that means. I just assume it's a whole heap of weed, a whole heap of cocaine and a whole heap of cocoa. Um, so these three criterion is what is considered to be major drug transit countries who are transporting these various drugs with, throughout the USA. And the source was Politrix Watch. You should actually listen to him. He's quite good. Um, so he also said he has issues with the data. There's no reference as to which country is producing which drugs. If Jamaica ends up on the list for weed, USA would have to start to clarify what is the federal position on weed because there are countries in the United States that are growing weed and where weed is legal. California in particular is selling it in their local market. Um, Jamaica is used, to, is, used, uh, is used as one of those places to pass on things in Jamaica. But if Jamaica is in the top 23 in the whole world, that we need to be hearing more news about it. There was a big bust in St. Thomas, apparently. So anyway, so that was the inspiration from Politrix Watch. And then I did my own research based on that. Um, when you're in a country that relies on tourism, you don't you want to attract people to come. You don't want them to end up on the list. And that is probably why I say it's deliberate. It's a deliberate to discredit Jamaica, to make them look less attractive. But I don't think it works. Um, I think people are sensible enough, especially tourists, to know that Jamaica is famous for ganja. Um, and it's medicinal properties. I mean, anything in moderation, anything you do out of moderation is always harmful. But anything in moderation, um, not that I'm endorsing it, but I'm just saying, you know, if they're using it, you know, exporting and making billions from it for medicinal purposes, it can't be all bad. Um, so there are a lot of countries missing on that list of 23. And I, and I think he's been quite selective in the countries he's put in the memorandum. And why is that? Because that is biased information. Either you put the top 10 countries or you don't put anything at all, but you don't stick random names in there. Yes, you put some credible names in there, but then you throw in Jamaica. So it looks credible because the other ones are credible. So you're thinking about Col Colombia, Bolivia, things like that. Yeah, Afghanistan. So if people see those countries which are authentic and you know they do have a reputation for um, producing a lot of opium so when they throw Jamaica in there it makes it look credible when it's when it's not credible Jamaica's got no business being in that list but they'll do it because it's all psychology it's all to do with you know it's it's the way they market things like we say, you know, Trump is a very good marketeer. He knows how to do things. He knows how to use psychology. And that's what he's done. He's got all these big um, countries that are exporting or, you know, do, um, producing illicit drugs. And yeah, let's why not throw Jamaica in there to make it, you know. And then if they see all these other countries, they're bound to believe that Jamaica is one of them. Don't believe the hype. Jamaica is not one of them. Believe me, you can do your own research like I've done. It's not one of them. Um, what else have I got? Yeah, it's all a part, a ploy to put a dent in Jamaica's reputation. The other day they were talking about Jamaica was the highest, um, the highest murder rate 
Once again, seven must be their lucky number. They rank sevens. Not their lucky number, but the number that they're kind of acquainted with because Honduras ranks top. 90 deaths per 100,000, Venezuela 53.7, USA Virgin Islands 52.6, these are all per 100,000 people, um, Belize 44.7, El Salvador 41.2, Guatemala 39.9 and then Jamaica comes in with 39.3. Uh, Lesotho 38.0, Swaziland 33.8 and then St Kitts and Nevis at 33.63 but like I said they they throw Jamaica in there they're all oh, the highest murder rates in the world they're not you know they're doing a lot of stuff to discredit Jamaica and you you just cannot allow you just cannot believe everything you hear you really have to do the research otherwise you start believing it and people are not going to want to go to Jamaica. And I think that is that is the game plan to, you know, put people going off there. Because if people think, oh, my God, the highest murder rate, you know, you're not going to want to go there. Yes, there's murders there. There's murders here. Look at all these bloody knife crimes we have. What about all the murders that they have in the different states of America? I know that when I was when I was doing a video on that murder rate, I think I don't know if it's California, but one of those states had the highest murder rate. So I don't know why they, you know, what they, what is that saying when you look outside your door but your house is dirty? You know what I mean? You, you're criticising everybody else outside while your house isn't clean. They have a saying, but I don't know what that saying is. But that's the kind of thing. You know, he's looking outside at all these other countries and not looking at his own back door. Um, okay. The top producing cocaine and coca countries, um, the legal producers are Australia, India and Turkey. Um, and the countries that produce the most illegal drugs is Leo. Um, that's the lowest. Well, let me go from the top. Afghanistan is the top. Colombia second. Mexico, Peru, Morocco, Myanmar, Bolivia and Laos. Or Laos, wherever you pronounce it. Um, then we have cocaine and coca. I'm going to tell you about the tons. Colombia is 46,739 tons. Papua New Guinea is 68,021. Peru is 71,175 tons. Bolivia is 25,000. Greece, Persia, Arabia, uh, India, China, Afghanistan. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I didn't put in the tons for all of how much tons they produce in all of them. Mexico is 82,000 tons. Myanmar didn't do that one. Dominican Republic, 68,021. Ecuador is 128,446. Brazil is 256,186. Cameroon, 275,000 tons. Nigeria, 367,000 tons. Indonesia, they had a pod borer insect which damaged growth, but they still um, produce 777,500 tons. Ghana, 835,466 tons. Cote d'Ivoire, 1,448,992 tons. Venezuela, 31,236. Uganda, 20,000. Togo, 15,000. Sierra Leone, 14,850. Guatemala, 13,127. India, 13,000. Haiti, 10,000. Madagascar, 9,000. And as you can see, Jamaica doesn't factor in there at all. Um, so, 95 tonnes of cannabis was produced in the UK in 2016. I don't know how much they've done recently. Those were the last figures I could get. And UK is the largest producer of legal cannabis, medicinal and scientific purposes. Yeah, right. I bet they're all high, <laughs> high on it out there. Um, as the source was Lucy Pasha Robinson of The Independent in her article dated 7th of March 2018. She interviewed Steve Rollis and who said it is scandalous and untenable for the UK government to maintain that cannabis has no medical uses at the same time as licensing the world's biggest government approved medical cannabis production and export market. Yeah, apparently 
The UK is the world's largest producer of legal cannabis. And that's a report from the United Nations, accounting for 44.9% of the world's total. Um, that's the International Narcotics Control Board found. The UK is also the largest producer and exporter of the drug, so why are they not on Trump's list, if that's the case? Ah, because they have legal in front of it. That's why. I mean, a drug is a drug is a drug. Cannabis, is you can't have it legal for one purpose and illegal for another. It doesn't work. Either the drug is unhealthy and you shouldn't smoke it and you shouldn't have it anywhere about or it's okay so it can't be in the middle you know you're, you're kind of choosing when you want it to be legal and when you want it to be illegal just so you can criminalize a certain sector of people and profit from another section it's it's, it's absolutely um unacceptable um and they export 2.1 tonnes, um, UK exported 2.1 tonnes in 2016, 70% of the world's total, the UN report stated. Um, top cannabis producing countries, US is the first position on the list of cannabis producing countries. The government of the United States had legalised the consumption of marijuana for both recreational and medical use in early 2018 in the District of Columbia, Columbia and Vermont. Jamaica ranks eighth in the top cannabis producing countries. No one can categorically state how much each of the countries that they listed grow, but that's, this is an estimate. Um, ranked in order of the highest to the lowest, um, <clears throat> Uh, one is United States, two is United Kingdom, uh, largest exporter, Downham Market in Fenland Town, post town in Norfolk. That's where they're producing, they've got 18 hectares, a cannabis plantation in Norfolk, of all places. All those, you know, I think they're quite, um, what do you call it, affluent down there. And they're grown under license of the Home Office and generates millions of pounds in revenue. The biggest producer and exporter in the world, along with the United States, the United Kingdom. And they, and they have the nerve every minute to stop a, a, a black man with a little piece of weed. Honestly. Then you've got Morocco, Afghanistan, Mexico, Colombia, Paraguay, Jamaica, eighth, Canada, Nigeria and India. So, my dear, you can, or my dears, you can determine from that information, that memorandum of the Secretary of State, what you will. You can deduce whether or not you think it's accurate. You can deduce whether or not you think he's been selective in the countries that he's chosen to um, discredit with regard to putting Jamaica on there. I don't really, I'm not too fussed about the other countries because when I was looking them up, they all have, a, they all do produce a high quantity of cocaine and um, they do produce illicit drugs. So I've got no qualms with them at all. But when they stick little Jamaica in there and it doesn't belong there, then I have an issue. But anyway, we'll have to see. I mean, is the um, for government of foreign affairs or whoever is in charge of Jamaica's reputation going to look into this? Are they going to inquire as to whether or not Jamaica should be there? Because it does have, it does have um, repercussions. You know, next thing you'll be saying, well, they're saying it anyway, because it's um, on the list of illicit drugs and, you know, a drug producing country. They won't allow anybody to, they won't allow the, the occupants to visit anywhere. It's, a, it's just another way of stopping people from Jamaica coming into the United States. That's the only reason, as far as I'm concerned, why they would put Jamaica on their list. They don't want Jamaicans in America. So if they can say, oh, Jamaica's on that list with all, you know, illicit drugs, anyone from Jamaica, they can boot them out of America. But they can, can't they? Because what they're going to say is, oh, they must be all doing illicit drugs or whatever. Anyway, it's my little, my little rant and my little opinion. Don't know if it's worth anything, but I thought I'd share it anyway. And that's all for now. Bye bye.